yes we are here there is many of us here that are willing and able to assist you today with your many questions about the current topics that have been happening on the planet. so which one of your many do you want to ask us first oh, thank you very much for coming in today um the first thing that i would like to ask is uh what is significant about today the fourth of march hmm. Wow, there is many birthdays, uh, there is many departing days, uh, there is many things happening on this day as you would perceive and understand that everyone has got different experiences that they need to do to be able to master each day and experience and explore and celebrate and journey through each and every day with the different uh, perspective than last, hopefully learning from the past and getting less into trouble and more into enlightenment, wouldn't that be fantastic? <laughs> that sure would be fantastic. Um, is there anything we had read that Trump was going to um, uh, become the 19th president of the US today? Uh, is there any was there ever any truth to that? Hmm. Yes, interesting question. Uh, once a president, always a president. Uh, and we can say that there is uh, many systems that are correctly being adjusted uh, for the appropriate reasons. Uh, while uh, you are waiting so patiently, and we say this with a smile, uh, your president, uh, we say your president as in the people's president, uh, because even though you are not American yourself, you have a great affiliation with that man. And that is um, remarkable uh, because you are seeking out people who are helping humanity, who have other agendas, uh, to improve humanity, uh, which is almost at one point in this uh, current system that you're living in, um, was quite the opposite of the norm. So you are seeking out the way showers, the truth seekers, and all of the beings who are here, planted here firmly in this planet that you love and adore and respect so much, are waiting to be able to see how much and what else you can do to help on your life mission here. So you're asking about Trump and what is he doing on his busy days. Um, he is doing very, very, very many things behind the scenes, big meetings with other people. He is still putting uh, his agenda first, which is helping humanity to be unenslaved and to be uncontrolled, um, uh, to be removing the control systems um, and the corrupt systems of many. So he has been very busy and while many people are assuming he is just constantly playing golf, um, that is very far from the truth. Uh, he has been uh, connecting to many uh, important leaders um, and working with his networks who know the truth, who honor the truth and who value humanity. So there's many things that are happening, but he would, um, he would like to be able to set a precedence and be able to do what he wants to do publicly uh, for all to see. And while he is respectful of dates and times and significant connections, um, he knows that what he is creating is a new process, a new bunch of systems, and he is uh, need needing to change even his own timelines uh, for all of the things to be unfolded as they need to be. Um, he did hope that this day would be the important day for the truth to come out. Um, but that was one of many windows of opportunities for this to occur. Um, as you know, there is many things and many forces that are trying to, um, with temper temper tantrums, shall we say, still try to manipulate and control humanity. And this is not something that we endorse or encourage, and we are very much aware of all. Uh, so we are observing and watching it all slowly, slowly play out uh, for humanity to be able to grow and expand and explore all the possibilities of all the ways you've now been controlled and manipulated. And every time something of natural situations happen, you're all starting to question, hmm, what really occurred there? And we are referring to the earthquakes, the very next question you want to ask from us. And so we will continue on our little uh, 
conversation with you because this is a nice energy now. Humanity's uh, collective consciousness is in a settled phase. Um, while there is not much that has been out publicly, you will have to sort of do some extra fun bonus rounds with your families and with yourselves and be able to start really spring cleaning your lives emotionally and mentally and physically as you embrace the thought of having to continue on and see this all unfold in a very slow pace but that is fantastic because while you know things are slowly unfolding for your very near future you have um, homework inner work to do which has still been waiting for you so patiently and now most of you are all starting to pick up that work that you have left uh, behind from last year potentially and so many 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 people are awakening uh, daily and many people are really profoundly releasing all that no longer serves them and really starting to step into their empowerment of spirituality, understanding the difference between religion and spirituality, and being able to uh, step into more of a curiosity and an insatiable thirst for truth and wisdom, understanding that once they hear the truth, they can't not hear anything else anything else that sounds like ego misinformation old stale information and information that we have been providing for a very long time that's not quite up to date with the information we're wanting you to know now many people are evolving their maturity for and distinction for entertainment versus the uh, clarity of information from other dimensional beings uh, giving you strong support and love while directing you into the most appropriate mindsets um, is something we are very honored to be able to do and help with. And so would you like to ask your question and we shall patiently wait or would you like us to continue on? You can go ahead and continue if you like, or I can ask a question. Um, but I I was going to just ask about uh, if there was any significance with the earthquakes uh, and the uh, tunnels that are down below. Mm, big boom, boom, booms, isn't it? Very interesting, very curious timing. What is there? What is there? What could possibly be there that is islands that are uh, reserved uh, from the general public because of the special marine life that's there. Very, very difficult to get there. Very protected waters. It's almost as if there's something we're not allowed to see and look at for the average. You mustn't be able to just uh, stumble across there by yourself. It is very heavily guarded. You must be wondering why. What on possibly on earth is there something that is so sacred and important that you must... Uh, almost to win a lottery to get to. Um, this is very interesting times, isn't it? Indeed. Uh, when you have something that's so profound that is rippled across the planet, and while earthquakes are not unique, while earthquakes are natural and can be uh, the earth stretching and repressurizing herself, just like you all should be with your physical bodies, repressurizing and realigning yourselves and not be stagnant in one spot. Um, there is more than meets the eye with this activity in that location. Uh, there is much more. And while it must be confusing, why would it have to be blown up or destroyed or detonated or whatever you want to understand what has been happening, it is to correct the balance. Um, this is a very strange thing for Joanne to see because she is asking why is there, why did there need to be all of these deaths in there? And why did that need to be taken out that way? Um, it feels very uncomfortable for her because she was quite happy to say and think um, that this was a natural disaster and we're saying not so much this time. It was not a natural disaster that had taken place. And this is the people who were trying to hide and this is the bigger crimes against humanity, those players who have been hidden away for a long time. 
And so it was very challenging to find out exactly where they all are specifically. They were all together having their own little rendezvous. Um, and so this was, um, this is not the bigger names that you're gagging on about to see um, the prosecutions. Uh, these are the bigger um, behind the scenes players. So while there may have been people that you have heard of before, uh, these families are so secretive and so secluded and um, most of them you would not even know existed on this planet because they do keep a low profile. They do not want to uh, connect themselves and be public. Um, they are very, very secretive for many reasons. Very, very, very many reasons. And so there was the uh, extinguished uh, we don't want to say executions, but we want to say that their life contracts were extinguished um, in the New Zealand mornings. And this was important uh, to be able to get these um, a happening, uh, the shift of those souls now off the planet um, is able to lighten the load. Perfect. Well, thank you very much for that answer that uh, really makes things a lot clearer uh, as to what was going on today. Um, sorry, going back to the first uh, thing about Trump, can I ask, uh, is Vladimir Putin uh, on the side of Trump? Because he's been making uh, a lot of claims about the uh, deep state lately. Mm, yes, they are very much in awareness. Um, while, um, let's just say that, Anything that you hear from the media, uh, if it is poo-pooing you and, and limiting you and labeling you and mocking you, chances are you've got some good value to humanity. And that is how uh, your, media, your media systems are working right now. Um, they're so controlled and they want to promote their own teams um, that anyone else that's not in their pocket or being controlled by them is the bad guy. So it is a basic uh, childish game, shall we say. Unfortunately, it's not just keeping within the playground. It is much more uh, um, compactually imposing itself on others. So it is, um, yes, you're all part of this, unfortunately, but great lessons and experiences. So do not feel so overwhelmed. Perfect. Thank you very much for that. Um, can I ask uh, about the um, the dam dam? <laughs> is anything going on with that? Yes, the structure is still um, very brittle, very weak. Um, we do see that it is um, it has got so much pressure behind it uh, that it is not possible for it to not completely go. Uh, the media is still doing such a great job in, in holding back the information. It is truly um, impressive what, um, what controlled uh, information you are allowed to get. And you are aware of today's experience with the video that has been uh, censored by YouTube uh, for something that was endorsing and encouraging people to have positive mindsets. So you understand um, how you think that just because you're not watching in quotation marks, uh, mainstream media, uh, the information you are getting is still highly edited. Uh, there is only a few platforms that are allowing for um, freedom of speech uh, without being censored. So there is a lot going on. Um, it is very interesting, very, very, very interesting from our perspective, how things are playing out um, now, today, with the big shift uh, of power, um, those straggly bits um, that still had, we say straggly bits, they, are, they were human, they are human, but they, they also were other beings that were a part of it. So it's not just human um, humans that were um, caught up um, in the connections um, of the said, in quotation marks, earthquakes um, there is a lot it's very very deep very old those ones uh, we almost want to say it was the headquarters of the Lemurian time uh, because those were the ancient ones 
Um, so it's very interesting now that we can look at this in a different perspective uh, to help you because we just see it as everything unfolding as it needs to and we're just constantly protecting you from blowing yourselves up um, but everything has a purpose so we're observing everything uh, so it's, um, it's it's interesting for us to translate this to you for what we see from our perspective so we are sort of enjoying this connection um, because we're so busy focusing on things from our perspective uh, we don't actually stop and, and notice uh, how and consider how much it actually affects you on your your um, mindsets, awareness and information that you need and seek. This is why we're helping you. This is why we like to help you, give you this information uh, to be able to fulfill um, in the pieces. Of course, there is a big leap for people who have to trust what we are saying um, and it makes no matter to us if you trust or not, but we understand that there are people that listen um, and want to get bigger information to be able to put things into their perspective. Um, of course, we want to say that when you have um, a big destruction um, that's so deep, you do get uh, many, many, many um, aftershocks. Um, and so that has triggered um, other pressures um, when you collapse a hole, shall we say, um, there is lots of ramifications for that. Thank you very much for that answer. Do you, can you let us know uh, what is happening with the tsunami that's also supposed to be hitting New Zealand? Right, the distraction, um, sending more uh, New Zealanders into fear. It's not a coincidence that Auckland is in a lockdown at this week. Uh, there is, it's just to make people feel more vulnerable, make people feel so worried and actually get over the virus nonsense and be able to actually talk about things like the environment and nature and who's the most powerful one of all, Mother Nature, and who she connected with, who who is Mother Nature's best friend, shall we say, um, Gaia. And so it is all to remind people that there are bigger forces than small little governments and people playing these silly games of control and manipulation. So it is multifaceted, uh, multidimensional, and um, multipurposeful. Perfect. Well, thank you. We were really wondering if the lockdown uh, wasn't, you know, part of this whole plan, and it seems like it was. Yes, there's many reasons for it. Um, you can keep pushing people uh, to have lockdowns um, and it's all fine when you're in fear, but when you're having to have these lockdowns and it's really disruptive, you either break and snap the pressure of having your lives controlled like this. Um, for over a year now, people have been in these lockdown situations and it's given plenty of time for people to awaken to the truth. And so when you keep um, controlling people and manipulating people with not the truth, um, there is a pressure cooking of there. It is triggering people from many, for many reasons. Um, many cultures and many other people in different lifetimes have been uh, suppressed from the truth. And this is a big opportunity for them now to overcome uh, their last life lessons and experiences and make this one um, powerful to stand up for themselves, to stand up for their truth, to stand up to the systems individually um, is extremely powerful when um, many people have had many lifetimes where they have been killed uh, by um, following the system. They have been killed by trying to awaken the system. Um, it's all the karma that is um, being released from this year and last year is tremendous. Um, and this is purposeful for many, many, many reasons. We know we feel like we keep saying this, but we're trying to talk about uh, billions of people. And so we can't be specific to the people who are questioning with their burning desires, they, how, how it all impacts me, how does this affect me? Um, it does obviously affect everyone. Um, but for the lockdown specifically for Auckland, uh, people needed to be uh, disempowered again to be motivated 
to start speaking up for themselves. Perfect. Thank you very much for that. Um, so in kind of the same area, I'm wondering, I have seen that there's going to be a worldwide rally uh, held on March 20th in many countries of the world. Um, how do you think that that will affect uh, all these lockdowns that are going on right now? Yeah bringing people together, bringing people to feel that there are one movement around the world is probably the most proudest thing we have experienced. It is so incredible that you're wanting to be able to be part of that. We can't connect into the energy because it will make this vessel cry because it's so powerful for people to just stand, be together. And as we have said before in many sessions, when you are together and you stand up and you are supporting each other, you're the most powerful thing. And so it is the time to stop your self-isolation, stop being so afraid of each other and, and start standing up and being counted for. And while we understand that there are many locations uh, around the world and, and in each country, uh, many people are not able to travel to connect to those locations because of, of, of financial or physical uh, restrictions. And so we say, honor this day, wherever you are, tapping into the energy of the collective, all wanting to stand together to tell the world their belief systems and how they're not going to be controlled this is potentially one of the most powerful things that humanity has organized because it's not just one country it was not just a handful of countries this is a movement all around the world because people are acknowledging people all around the world and it has been so disproportionate the attention of the situations in different countries there is more than just uh, one country that had a big significant earthquake today, but yet around the world, humanity only gets to hear about uh, the New Zealand regions. So it's interesting what you're allowed to hear and what you're not allowed to hear um, for many reasons. Thank you so much for that. Is there any way we can ask about the other earthquakes in the world and where they occurred mm -hmm. and the significance of them? Um, they were natural. Um, they were also pressure points. Um, it wasn't, um, we don't see that there was other operations happening. Um, it is, it's just surface. The planet is expanding with her higher vibrational energy. So it is not, um, we're not saying that there was something that's hidden behind you that's, you know, going on the scenes. We say this earthquake um, in New Zealand uh, is a red herring. It is distracting people from other uh, worries. This is adding more fear potentially to the collective, but the reality is this is a great step forward. Perfect. Thank you for that. Also, may I ask, is there any more um, of these sort of straggling beings that we that they need to, um, you know, sort of take care of uh, with regards to the crimes against humanity? Mm. No, we're seeing that these are the last big ones. A lot, but they couldn't find where they really were exactly and they were still waiting for things to all fall into place. Uh, so uh, we keep hearing uh, uh, channelers and other people saying there's still children stuck in tunnels and we want to say this is really not really truly the case. This has really been dealt with a long time ago and this is just uh, the final last bits of it. Um, we have, they have been working, humanity has been working behind the scenes um, also to be able to clear a lot of this stuff up, but also um, we are also helping um, clear the tunnels ourselves. Um, we are also helping, because it's not just humans that are in tunnels, um, there's many crossbreeds and hybrids and, um, and also other, cap uh, other beings in captivity. Uh, so it is uh, very purposeful that we are here to help. Um, so there is beings that are within the earth, in the inner earth, who are um, helping with the energies as well. Um, there is so much going on. It is such a vast, complicated puzzle, but it's beautifully unfolding and ticking and evolving at the same time. 
That sounds perfect. Uh, both both uh, Joanne and I have noticed um, uh, lots of cloud activity, lots of um, lots of you above us the last few days. Is is that uh, for any particular reason? Mm. Um, we were not needing to be down um, as lower as we have been. We have been really sort of taking a big step back because we can do our work really anywhere. But um, the reason why we have now appeared more frequently in the last few days um, is because the energy needed to be more intense. Uh, so we were bringing ourselves down to help raise the vibration. You guys are also part of that. Um, the men on the ground, shall we say, even though we are very aware you are both of the female gender. This is a part of our um, help as well. When we bring our physical bodies down lower to the earth, um, we're helping the, the, the vibrations. We're helping everything. We're helping the frequency to be able to lift and so we knew that um, the worry of everyone experiencing in New Zealand this morning, um, a big long earthquake, uh, which was triggering people from emotional shock from other deadly earthquakes New Zealand has had. And everyone is worried about, um, you know, being um, on this island that is very well known for its volcano and uh, earthquake activities. Um, we were wanting to say um, that we were raising the vibration more so the last sort of week here to help buffer the shock and fear that people were going to experience today. So we're lending a hand once again to help humanity and you're experiencing it on your side of the world uh, because there is uh, still lower vibrational beings um, still needing to be picked up and helped, uh, not picked up physically as an abduction, that is, um, <laughs> we know many people would have been triggered with that, um, physically um, picked up through emotions, not your physical bodies being beamed into our ships. Um, we want to make a joke now, but it's not appropriate. Um, so you're seeing them because they are, um, needing to, we're all needing, all of the beings who are here are needing to come a little bit closer to, to share our energy naturally, because uh, it takes a lot of energy from the universe to keep pumping into the planet to be able to keep raising its vibration, especially when you keep going into worry and fear and doubt. So um, energy is happening all the time and the requirements of this planet to be functioning at a higher rate is a lot of work that goes on behind the scenes so we're using our own natural vibrations for that we think we've over explained that sorry but it's just we're showing joanne many different systems that we're using to be able to to help with that so it is purposeful when you are right what you sensed and saw is exactly what you sensed and saw Perfect. Well, thank you so much for that confirmation. I do always feel really relieved when I do see you up there. So uh, thank you for being there for us. Mm -hmm. um, I would like to know if there's anything that we can do uh, to help uh, raise the vibration of the planet. When you're cleaning, have joy. When you're tying your shoelaces, have joy. Find ways to keep yourself in a bigger perspective of joy and be grateful be grateful and have so much gratitude and thank thank yourselves for for being here at this time to help humanity thank others for being here when you say thank you to a cashier at a supermarket not say thank you for that one single serving of connection of doing groceries thank and honor that person for all they've done in this lifetime and all the other lifetimes they have ever lived and so having that higher bigger tent to profoundly thank that being, that will just lift the vibrations of you and that person. And so you're not only wanting to help just yourselves, you're also wanting to see things from the bigger perspective. Sometimes you all, this is not you generally as an Amy um, or Joanne, uh, but this is humanity. Uh, you're still struggling to empower yourselves profoundly. Um, You've missed many opportunities to profoundly empower others. And by honoring and saying thank you to someone, not just for that one thing that they've done for you, 
but for everything they have ever done for humanity, that is going to be a very powerful tool for you. So we're very glad that you asked us that. Uh, thank you. I'm glad I asked as well. I will put that into practice. Uh, can I ask you if we can expect a very exciting month of March? Mm, it's going to be a very eventful March. It's going to be a very eventful April as many things need to still unravel and unfold. And so you have different timelines depending on how humanity is going to cope with how everything is going to unfold. We know exactly the question you're wanting us to answer you with. And you know this is a public session, so we will not say more than this. Yes, I wasn't even going to bother to ask because I knew that there wouldn't be an answer. <laughs> but anyway, uh, can we ask how um, Gaia is doing? Mm, yes, good question. Uh, she is well. She is well. She is well. She is still um, in a resting state um as much as she can um there is natural movements um, on her surface as she is um, expanding her own consciousness um part of her collective of conscious minds shall we say because she's not just one being she's a collective of many beings um they have wanted to shift already um into the new planet and so they are uh, very keen um, and uh, connecting already um, energetically to that planet. So it's starting to be a bit of a bridge now between her consciousness uh, being on this planet and, and actually shifting on into the other dimension. So it is all happening as it needs to. Um, she is, and she could never be in such a dire strait that she couldn't have any more extra reserve. Just like when you put someone on, um, uh, palliative care uh, you can keep that body living for a, quite a while even though the essence has gone um, and you know it's a lot of maintenance um, and we know that this is very crass uh, to compare to compare um, one body uh, to one planet's body and consciousness uh, but there are some basic similarities there so she is not um she is very keen to to shift um but it's not an extreme emergency yet so there is going to be that extreme emergency uh situation and time um not that far away um so we are knowing that we have some wiggle room to be able to help humanity um, we would have preferred humanity to have woken up um, all the other many times we have tried to help humanity shift um, as a collective, um, but this has not been successful for many reasons. Um, and the purposes and the growth have been fantastic from our perspective point and from yours, from your higher selves. So understand this is not, um, this is not uh, against your free will. You are... Um, you are growing so tremendously and doing lots of your own inner work and your homework and um, so much more for humanity. And we really want this to end in a fantastic high uh, emotionally and energetically um, for many reasons. So it is going to be a, a fantastic farewell send off when it does occur. That sounds amazing. Thank you for that. Uh, that gives me uh, so much peace inside to know that. Uh, do you have any final messages for uh, humanity or for Joe or myself for today? All is well. Uh, we don't see any necessary need to worry or go into fear or uh, be scared or panic or be impatient or frustrated. Uh, there is, of course, your free will to have all those feelings. But when you're going to react to anything, just pause and question why. Is this my old reactionary, um, lower dimensional, uh, knee-jerk reactions to the, that situation? Um, and if so, can I choose a different response? When you repeat yourself again and again and again, um, you're setting that cycle. Something will have to change for that cycle to stop and evolve. And so we're asking people to, to consider all of their reactions 
to consider all of their choices and to see uh, what feels like unconditional love and what doesn't. Perfect. That was a beautiful message. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming in and answering our questions today.